Well, Riley, your spell at Blues has come to an end. How do you even begin to reflect on the last 15 months or so? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's sadly come to an end, but um, it's been a, been a bit of a whirlwind and a, and a good adventure and one that um, I have uh, many fond memories of. So, how did, how did playing in England compare to what you might have thought it would have been when you first arrived? Um, it's probably everything that I did expect it to be. You know, it's what I wanted to do and coming from Australia where I wanted to play and, and hopefully can play again in, in the future. But um, yeah, it lived up to every expectation I had in, in, in the best way possible. Did it feel like a step up from the A-League into the second division in England? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I think, um, as I said, this is England's where you want to come and play and, and been able to get the opportunity in the Championship and, and to come to Birmingham. Yeah, I, uh, I took it and, and wanted to get here. Yeah, you've had some great moments during your, your time here. I suppose uh, banging in that winner against Swansea City must go pretty high on, on that list. Have you got any personal highlights from your time spent here? Yeah, I think definitely the, the Swansea goal, the, the winner there was, was probably up there with, with one of my favourites. But no, I think maybe even my debut as well, um, with fans and without fans, are probably two of the things at home here at St Andrews are two of the things that um, yeah, I remember. Yeah, tell us about that. It's been a pretty odd couple of years in terms of playing for, for players, for supporters as well. We've played nearly all of last season behind closed doors. What was that like playing on the pitch with no supporters in the stadiums? Yeah, it was tough, you know, obviously I came here and it's all I knew and I didn't know what to expect with fans um, and then when the fans came it kind of changed my whole perspective of, of the game and, 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 and the fans in, in England and yeah, loved it and just embraced playing in front of the home fans here. Yeah, the fans have taken to you as well, some very disappointed that they, they won't get to see you play again. Um, what's it been like to have their support during your time here? Yeah, really good. Um, you know, it probably was a, a rocky start with the fans, but um, nah, kind of hopefully won them over in the end and just being the person I am. And um, nah, it was just obviously brilliant playing in front of them week in, week out, and um, it's a real honour. Yeah, we, we know you had a uh, special guest at Blackburn Rovers as well. Your dad came all the way from Australia uh, to watch you play. What was that like having him in, in attendance? Because for a lot of people, the last couple of years have been tough, but you really haven't seen friends or family at all, have you? Yeah, no, nah, not at all. My uh, Yeah, my dad came over and, and he got to watch um, the Blackburn game. Obviously I haven't seen him in, in a bit over a year, but um, ideally he would have come to watch a home game, but unfortunately that couldn't happen. But yeah, it was just yeah, real, real good to know that he was there and, and watching me on the pitch. Yeah, with no friends or family in England, I suppose you, you lean on your teammates. Is there anyone that you got on particularly well with during your time here? I think all of them, you know, great, great group of, um, great group of lads in the team and, and um, many good, good friendships made. Um, that I'll look back on and, and definitely keep in touch with going forward in, in the future. Yeah, your former Blues has seen you um, get lots of playing time for the Australian national team and played in an Olympics as well. What was that like going in and taking on those experiences due to your time here? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is, um, this is an opportunity I did get given, obviously, playing here at the Blues and, and being at this level. So, yeah, I can, can only thank the club and everyone, um, um, you know, a million times over, to be honest. But... Yeah, it's good, the opportunity to make a debut for my country, go to the Olympics. Um, really couldn't have probably done it without, without being here and, and being at Blues. Yeah, in terms of coming back to Blues in the MLS closed season, could we see you on the, on the paddocks at St Andrews cheering on the team if, if you get a bit of time off? Yeah, definitely. Potentially I'll have to come back here and, and watch from the stands and um, see what it's like being on the opposite side of, of being on the pitch. I'm sure they'll teach you how to sing keep right on. Um, from everyone at Blues, Riley, thanks for the memories and, and good luck in the future. Thank you very much.